April is Child Abuse Prevention Month and regional advocacy centers are encouraging adults to use this time to educate themselves on how to help. Green City News reporter Savannah Rudisell shows us how advocates say people can make a difference. Pat's Place Child Advocacy Center held their Everyday Heroes Luncheon in Uptown today. Trying to drive home the point, it doesn't take a mandated reporter or a trained professional to stop the cycle of childhood trauma. It was shape the way that I saw my experience. As Child Abuse Prevention Month comes to a close, Pat's Place Child Advocacy Center encourages people to get involved in the lives of at-risk children. Supporters filled the NASCAR Hall of Fame Tuesday to listen to East Carolina grad and former Cincinnati Bengals player Galen Elmore share his experiences of abuse in the foster care system. Most of the victims are, they're abused by people who they cared for or people who they trusted or loved. And so it becomes a, a relational and a mental game. Elmore doesn't describe himself as a success story, but rather someone who had a successful support system, beginning with a favorite teacher and a kind school custodian. And that's the only reason I'm here. That's the only reason I'm able to do this work. That's the only reason I'm able to share my story is because there were people who were not the professionals but they saw an avenue, an opportunity to help a child that needed it, and they acted. Pat's Place executives say more adults should be ready to act. Every day we see kids who have experienced the worst forms of violence and abuse in our community, and often they have told somebody or they've told two or three people and they didn't take that seriously. Law enforcement referred 1,017 children to Pat's Place last year. That's a 19% increase from 2022 and a 37% increase from 2021. And they come to Pat's Place and they can get engaged in therapy that helps them find new coping skills. Um, we see true healing happen and that's why we do this work. Elmore says he knows he can't prevent abuse altogether, but he can help create a culture where people pay attention and prevent another child from feeling as alone as he did. There, there are signs and there are cues and there are like little test the water kind of things that, that young people will do. And if we're present, I think that goes a long way. Organizers also took the time to talk about some of the newer initiatives that Pat's Place is working on, including one partnership with CMS and CMPD to make sure that school remains a safe place for kids experiencing trauma. For more details on those programs, you can head to our website at qcnews.com. Reporting in Uptown, Savannah Rubisell, Green City News.